Hey Firefox, how you doing? Anyway, let's check in on our installation. <laughs> this is where that IT degree pays off. <laughs> uh, that's not what I wanted to happen. The 90s called. They want their dial-up speed back. What? 12 and a half hours? Hey guys, Crazy Ken here. And oh my gosh, that three-part series on the SSD failure, complete and utter waste. Have you noticed that in the title I always put a question mark next to SSD failure? That's because I wasn't really sure if this was SSD failure or not. I'll sum it up quick for those who did not see the trilogy, but I recommend seeing it anyway just because I'm an insane mother trucker. So my computer was having constant freezing issues. I already ruled out the possibility of it being a software issue, or so I thought, so I brought it to Apple, saying the SSD is most likely bad. They replaced the logic board instead of the SSD. The problem still persists, so I bring it back. Then they replace the SSD. All of this for free, mind you, because of Apple Care. Ding! About three weeks to a month later, the issue happened again. So I was doing some research. I checked out several different websites, and I don't know why I didn't really Google this earlier. And I found some reasons as to why things may freeze, but the mouse cursor still moves. However, I also found quite a few related search results connecting to Safari and the Safari web content process. So I started monitoring those processes in the activity monitor for a couple days, and then the issue happened again, but I didn't find anything super suspicious. Now, earlier, I already tried reinstalling the operating system from the recovery partition, and that did jack shit. But that was when El Capitan was younger, or as I like to call it, El Capitan. So we're gonna try it again with the newer dot update of the OS. However, there's another thing I want to try. The reinstall will reinstall Safari, but this time I want a complete reinstallation, which means I'm going to delete all of the Safari data off the computer and try to delete the Safari app itself. The permissions are a bit of a bitch, but I might be able to find a workaround. So let's start by zapping the library. Oh yeah. So here is the Safari folder inside of the library. And what I'll do is I'll just make a copy of this to the desktop, or actually just move it to the desktop. Um, you know, let's do this. I will actually make a copy, and then I'm just going to leave that in there for now. So now I have a backup of this on the desktop in case I need to get to it. My most important information is stored on the iCloud, but to prevent any syncing issues, I'm actually going to turn off the Safari iCloud syncing. So now I'm going to use App Cleaner and just totally erase Safari. Now. I have a feeling that, okay, I can't remove protected apps. We'll go to preferences. Okay, so now App Cleaner is going to find every file related to Safari. And I really do mean every single file related to Safari. But I know for a fact the system is going to fight back and it will not allow a third-party app to remove the app file itself. So I'm going to uncheck that. We'll try to deal with that later. All right, so I'm going to hit remove. All of that is in the trash now. Hi, trash. Bye, trash. And it's gone. Okay, so now we're deleting like 70,000 items. Okay, I just realized that Sierra has little fade animations for the folders in the finder. Okay, doesn't work so well for that one, but still, isn't that crazy? Now you're probably wondering, Ken, what are you doing in Sierra? Well, I'm going to try to use a different operating system to delete Safari from the other partition. That probably won't work, but we're going to try anyway. This is where that IT degree pays off. <laughs> uh, who am I kidding? I never went to Castleton. So, I'm going to try to do this. sudo rm-rf, and I'm going to plop Safari right into there and see what happens. All right. Oh, and it even faded away the Safari icon. You didn't see that, but I did. A nice little animation touch in Sierra. We are now reloading El Capitan to see if my crazy scheme worked. Chug along. Almost there. I believe in you. Yeah. So now if my calculations are correct, the library for Safari should be gone. There should be no Safari data on here anywhere in the system. We used App Cleaner to get rid of it. And Safari should not be in the apps folder. So Safari is now 100% off of this operating system. So now we are going to attempt a reinstall of El Capitan. Uh, that's not what I wanted to happen. A bunch of, like, log information popped up on the screen. And then it kernel pan. Whoa, okay, whoa. Okay, that was weird. That I've never actually seen a kernel panic like that happen on boot up. I was pressing buttons. Did I press the wrong button? Did I just like nuke somebody? All right, hang on. 
We're gonna hit restart here. Now, the recovery partition should be built in, and that's a feature I really like, but I was actually noticing, hang on, the boot picker is not showing up for me. One sec, let's try that again. I was noticing the recovery partition actually doesn't show up. It just gives me OS 10 and Windows. Now, recently, a new SSD was put into here, and Apple restored the Mac side, but did that cause a problem? Because isn't there usually a recovery thing there? But regardless of that, there should be a Command R option, and now it's starting internet recovery. So it's pulling a recovery operating system from the cloud and throwing it onto this computer, because I guess the, the normal one isn't there, which is weird. Again, I didn't reinstall the operating system when I got this back from Apple. Apple did it. Did they miss something? I don't know. Has anyone else had this problem where the recovery partition is just gone? Well, hopefully the cloud pulls the right thing through. This is not the right... Oh my gosh. Mavericks? Mavericks? Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. The recovery thing must have been choosing the operating system that the computer came with, I believe. Because when I bought this computer, I think Mavericks was the current system... Yeah, but that that's two generations old, mate. That ain't gonna work. All right, since the recovery partition seems to be a no-go and I don't wanna mess around with it anymore, I'm just gonna go right back to the App Store and re-download here. So let's hit the button there and... Downloading, all right, that's a good sign. 6.21 gigabytes. Huh, interesting number combination. Anyway, uh, we have it downloading now, but it seems to be stuck at 36.5. Ooh, why is it going so slow? Hey Firefox, how you doing? Anyway, let's check in on our installation. Yeah, why the hell is it still under 100 megs? I just did an Ookla speed check. I am getting 62 megabits per second down. So it is not my internet connection whatsoever. And that was on wireless, mind you. Apple servers must be, again, using the same technology that Pokemon Go used when it launched. Cloud stuff is awesome in theory, but when the connection is bad, everything goes to shit. And that is the big weakness of the cloud. You know, it says it's downloading, but I highly doubt that is accurate. Alright, so you're probably wondering what the hell I'm doing now. Samsung is going to help save us here because Apple's being a pile and does not want to download the freaking operating system. You can't get any good help these days, can you? Especially from a company you've spent probably well over $10,000 on. Anyway... Let's boot up the Mac Mini that is beneath this thing. Buttons on the other side. There we go. And let's turn this sucker on. So what I'm going to attempt to do is load up the recovery partition on this computer, hook up the laptop via target disk mode, and install that way. So let's try doing Command-R and see if that works. That probably won't because I don't see the options showing up. and. Now the spinning thing stopped moving. Okay, so far the plan is crashing. Fuck you, Apple. Fuck you with a salad fork. Seriously. Okay, it's been running for, what, 10 minutes and we're only at 62 megs? That's a little insane. Hey, my plan might not be crazy. That's the El Capitan logo. I'm on the Mac Mini. I'll just choose reinstall OS X here. Hey, look at that flickery goodness. That's what I wanted to see. Okay, I gotta grab a Thunderbolt cable. I'll be right back. Okay, so the setup here is getting a bit ghetto. Um, there's the Mac Mini and an extremely short Thunderbolt cable because it was for that uh, La C drive that you see under there. Um, so that's hooked up here and I have the laptop sitting on a chair so it can reach. Yeah, this is a really professional setup. Do not try this at home. Mm-mm. All right, we're going to hold down T and boot this sucker up into... Oh, that was fast. Wow. Jeez, this thing is faster than me in bed. All right, deal with the flicker. Suck it up. All right, so we're going to hit the continue button here with my awesome pro mouse. There we go. Okay, so it's connected externally. That means target disk mode is working. That is a good sign. All right, let's hit install. Signing into the app store. All right, so now it's downloading additional components. How long will it take? About an hour and three minutes. What the hell? Is anyone else? Oh, now it's two hours and twenty minutes. Are you? Are you like for real now? Are you serious? You, you can't. You got to be joking. Is anyone else having problems with Apple servers being so slow? Two different computers trying to download the same operating system. You know what? 
Ah, oh, jeez, I, I really don't want to have to, like, pirate it because I don't want to get some shit on the computer, so... Oh, but a torrent overall would be a million times faster than this garbage. Seriously, Apple? This is your best? This is what you're doing? Oh my gosh, it's now 3 hours and 27 minutes? It's like any time I tilt the camera away, it changes. Let's try it again. Nope, didn't do it that time. Whoa. Really? 8 hours and 53 minutes? I'm sorry. The 90s called. They want their dial-up speed back. What? 12 and a half hours?! When did I step back into the 90s here, man? A am I on, like, dial-up? Am I using, like, AOL? I get 30 minutes free? What is this? Guys, I I've never seen such ridiculously long download speeds from anything from Apple. It's usually, like, boom, done, quick. What is this? What are they doing? You know what? I figured it out. I, I know what's going on. Tim Cook and his employees are spending too much time on the Hillary Clinton fundraiser. So for anyone who knows me... Uh, you probably know that I have some buddies that like to help me out at a time like this. Hang on a second. We got Bloody Mary mix. All right, that's a start. And maybe some cold water vodka. This is the only way we're going to get through the night. Especially at this rate. I'm going to need more bottles. Hang on, let me find something else here. Hang on, I got you. Ah, I got you. We can just fill this thing up. Yep, there we go. Oh, wait, this is my hot sauce jug. Well, hey, we can still fill that up. It can work. Ah, uh, happy day. 28 hours and 47 minutes. Well, the good news is it's about 28 hours, so it could be wrong, give or take 10 hours. Oh, I am so close to popping a cap in this computer's ass. Yeah, and I'll do it too. I'll do it. 30 hours? What the hell? Let's call Apple Care. Yeah, let's see what they have to say. Dialing now. Your call may be recorded for quality assurance. Yes, it I'm will. An automated system. Thank you for calling Apple Care Support. This is Sean. May I stop forgetting your first last name today, please? Yeah, my name is John Cena. <laughs> they reinstalled the OS, but there is no recovery mode, so it goes to internet. No. Yeah, it goes to internet recovery, but it recovery, that... and then it's going to reinstall the original operating system. Yeah, which is like three years old now. Yeah, this is probably like the fifth time I've tried it. And it wasn't all today. I tried it yesterday too, and now it's up to 59 hours remaining. Okay, so that was about a 45 minute phone call, and I could say a lot of things about what happened, but ultimately, Apple isn't even sure as to why the download is taking forever. So, they might get back to me, they might not. Maybe it's just one of those things and I have to wait for the download to start going faster. Even though this has already been something I checked yesterday and it was still slow. Just as slow as it is today. But now here's an even weirder thing. Check this out. So with downloading 10.10 Yosemite, we have about 22 minutes remaining for the download time. Uh, this one right here. Okay, so this is the download button, yeah, for LCAP. All right, so see that? 36 minutes, it gets to 36 megabytes. It's always at 36, and now the estimated time starts going up. So why would this be the case? Why would Yosemite download fast and El Capitan download slow? I don't know. Why is it always at 36.6 megabytes where it starts going slow? I don't know. And apparently neither do the Apple guys, because I just had that phone call with them, and they're just as flummoxed as I am. So now, as you can see, we are already at two days and four hours for the estimated download time for one installer. Yet the other one was at 22 minutes with no problems. So in all honesty, this is just one of those things where I'm probably just going to have to wait. Oh my gosh, six days? Okay, back to two days. Well, still, both of those suck. So anyway, I'm probably just going to have to sit this one out for a while and wait until the download speeds improve and then get back to you guys. And I know people are probably going to comment about me trying other things, but I tried a bunch of different ideas with DNS servers, resetting the router, all that stuff. And our speeds are still good. This is something on Apple's end. It just has to be. I don't know what else it could be. So I'll update you when I can, but for now, I'm just going to be sitting out for a bit. Anyway, that is all for Crazy Ken for now. If you liked the video, feel free to leave a like down below. Maybe I can use the likes to fight off the evil forces that are sending me these ginormous, mysterious curses. 
I don't have a lot of luck, do I? Anyway, I appreciate you sticking with me, and I will report back once I do more testing. So stay in touch for that. Alright guys, we'll see you in the not-too-distant future. Oh, but it might be a very distant future. <laughs> oh. Hey guys, if you want to get some more laughs out of us, I recommend Ken Cinema of Shenanigans. Just click here. But I also recommend one of our great cosplay music videos. To watch one, just click here.